Aren't you guys tired of covering this? Aren't you guys tired of being here and having to cover all of these mass shootings? I'm from Highland Park, Illinois. My son and I survived a mass shooting over the summer. I am in Tennessee on a family vacation with my son visiting my sister-in-law. I have been lobbying in D.C. since we survived a mass shooting in July. I have met with over 130 lawmakers. How is this still happening? How are our children still dying and why are we failing them? Gun violence is the number one killer of children and teens. It has overtaken cars. Assault weapons are contributing to the border crisis and fentanyl. We are arming cartels with our guns and our goose loose gun laws. And these shootings and these mass shootings will continue to happen until our lawmakers step up and pass gun safety legislation. I'm pretty sure this was an unsecured weapon that this teenager got a hold of. We can't even pass gun safety, like safe storage laws in this country to protect kids from getting a hold of weapons that they shoot each other with. Aren't you guys tired of this? Are you guys sick of it? We have to do something. We all have to call our lawmakers, and we all have to make our lawmakers make change now. Or this is going to keep happening, and it's going to be your kid, and your kid, and your kid, and your kid next. Because it's just a matter of time. Can you say and spell your full name for me? As of it's, it's now, there are a number of people who are not going to, did not make it, including children. It's heartbreaking, uh, a family's worst nightmare. And I want to commend the police who responded incredibly swiftly, within minutes, to end the danger. We're monitoring the situation really closely, Ben, as you know. And uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reportedly had two assault weapons and a pistol to AK-47. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. It's about time that we begin to make some more progress, but there's more to learn. But I just wanted to send my uh, concern and hearts out to so many parents out there. I've been to so many of these sites, as Ben knows, uh, by virtually every one. And uh, one of the things you folks should I know you do know, but you should focus on. You know, just like when in the military, when my son was in Iraq for a year, other places, you, there's so many members of the military coming back with post-traumatic stress after witnessing the violence and participating in it. Well, these children, these teachers, you should be, should be focusing on their mental health as well. And so I'm grateful anyway.